asteroid fears, NASA is warning over the most dangerous space rock heading to our Earth. It's twice the size of the infamous Apophis asteroid, which will be coming at us in about 10 years. An asteroid twice the size of Apophis is set to strike Earth in the future, and they've calculated when that will be just about taking place. Researchers warned NASA that the consequences of inaction could be disastrous. So they have to do something to get this out of the way. This is by Callum Hoare on Express UK. Today's article, the asteroid is 101955 Bennu. It's formerly known as 1999 RQ36. It's Bennu. Uh, from what I remember, I remember that some of the people, uh, some scientists called it a minor planet. It's a carbonaceous space rock in the Apollo group, first discovered by NASA's Linear Project, September 11, 1999. 9-11-1999. It's a potentially hazardous object listed on the Sentry Risk Table with the second highest cumulative rating of the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale. This celestial body is currently the target of NASA's Osiris Rex mission. It's an asteroid mission and it has the goal of returning samples from Bennu to Earth in 2023. And that'll help researchers determine its possible outcome. What material is it made of? Now investigators have already warned Space agencies, NASA and others, said it could be devastating if they do not act. There are uh, those who keep up to date with all this. Those who are amateurs, those who are professionals. And uh, in May, they had a team of experts rated, rating chances of impacting during a miniseries that uh, has to do with uh, asteroid impacts and possible threats to Earth. A video explained asteroid 1999 RQ36, set to strike in the year 2182, is considered the most dangerous asteroid in the universe. This rocky body, it says, measures about 560 meters in diameter. That's about what? Uh, over uh, 1,700 feet in diameter. It was discovered in 1999, so that's pretty recent. According to scientific studies, it's estimated that it will impact Earth in the year 2,182. According to a study by scientist Maria Eugenia Sansatorio, the 1999 asteroid may or may not impact Earth. Dr. Sansatorio warned in a report for the solar system journal Icarus that there's a good chance of the asteroid striking. She told Universe Today back in 2010, quote, the total impact probability of asteroid 1999 RQ36 can be estimated as 0 0.00092, approximately one in a thousand chance, but what is most surprising is that over half of this chance corresponds to 2,182, the year that is. There's an amount of orbital uncertainty due to the gravitational influences on the asteroid when it passes the Earth and other objects. It could also gain a minimal amount of influence from the Yarkovsky effect. We've recently seen that in the asteroid that was supposed to be uh, way beyond Earth, it was way beyond our moon, and it was not considered at all a uh, hazardous object, and it was about 30 feet across, and that did come at us, and it came over the uh, Caribbean on July 25th, and all the astronomers were scratching their heads saying, what happened? It was supposed to go safely into, the, into that uh, night of the uh, dark space. And why did it come careening into Earth? It's because of the Yarkovsky effect. 
And that has to do with, as we said before, the way the sun's rays heats up the surface of the asteroid, causing it to spin on its axis, causing it to tumble out of its orbit, out of its trajectory, and come careening into Earth because of the gravitational pull Earth influences on these bodies, especially if they're not that big. And uh, most times they can also split into pieces. And from what the astronomers are telling us, asteroids are seldom coming in on their own. They're usually binary or they come in groups because they've already broken up. Or uh, in this case, we've had an unfortunate, well, it's not just this case. It's not just with the asteroid that came over as unexpectedly over the Caribbean. The Chelyabinsk meteor that struck over Russia a couple of years back in February, the winter of that year, uh, it was never seen coming at us. It wasn't supposed to be coming at us, but it did. And on that same day, I think some other asteroid flew over. We had a, a fireball over the United States as well. Unexpected, totally. So they do come in in pairs. So Bennu is the year 1000, 2182. Dr. San Satorio added, the consequence of this complex dynamic is not just likelihood of a comparatively large impact, it also uh, that's a real realistic deflection procedure or path deviation could only be made before the impact in 2080 and more easily before 2060. If this object, she says, had been discovered after 2080, the deflection would require a technology that is not currently available. Therefore, I guess it's good that we did discover it earlier than later. Therefore, this example suggests that impact monitoring, which up to date does not cover more than 80 or 100 years, may need to encompass more than one century. Thus, she goes on to explain, the efforts to deviate this type of objects could be conducted with moderate resources from a technological and financial point of view. NASA's new mission will touch back down in four years. Scientists will then have all the details they need to make a firm decision on the true threat of Bennu. Osiris Rex will help refine their understanding of Bennu's orbit. Principal investigator Dante Loretta of Lunar and Planetary Laboratory of University of Arizona revealed recently. He said, our uncertainties will shrink so that will allow us to be uh, us to recalculate the impact probability. We don't know which direction it will go. It can go down because we just eliminated a bunch of possible keyholes that Bennu may hit. Or it may go up because the area that's left, we have a higher concentration of keyholes compared to the overall area of the uncertainty plane. Osiris's Rex work will also help researchers better understand the Yarkovsky effect. Well, how can you conclude, uh, uh, calculate that? There's no way you can calculate that, really. I mean, it depends on what it's made of, how fast it's going, how fast it's close to the rays of the sun that heat it up, how much they're heating it up, if there's a solar flare in the area. I mean, you know, these, these things you just cannot calculate. Now, either way, scientists have assured Bennu is not going, is not big enough to hit and the Earth and end life on Earth. Such an impact would likely devastate a local area, but it will not be big enough to wipe out civilization or cause a mass extinction, uh, uh, an extinction level event. Astronomers estimate that a space rock must be at least 0 0.6 miles wide to cause a global catastrophe. The asteroid thought to have wiped out the dinosaurs, or at least to have finished them off, was about 6 miles across. That's uh, if you assume that Bennu is coming in alone and it doesn't have a binary or doesn't come in with a group of others, other uh, space rocks with it. I'll leave links below for you for this on Express UK.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.